was to get the old croaker going. Okay, because it's it's whatever it is. It's quarter to ten in the morning. It is in London anyway. I don't know what it feels like to you, but it's a quarter to ten in the, in the morning. And actually, your voice, you all have noticed this. It operates in different ways at different times of the day. And it's a bit reluctant to function as you want it to function in, in the morning, uh, isn't it? I mean, we're all a bit croaky when we get up. So that is the principal function of why you've been doing those exercises now. But actually, it's also a great way of finding out about the building you're about to sing in. Look, when you're at home, I dare say that you're used to singing in the, the particular facility that you have in your school, maybe somewhere in the town as well. There'll be two or three venues that you're used to singing in. Bathroom. Okay. Sorry? Mm. Bathroom, the toilet. Well, they're fine, good. The bathroom, the toilet, and, the, and, the, and down in the shed at the bottom of the garden. Yeah. But I mean, wherever, those, wherever it is that you're used to, that's fine. So you open your mouth and you know what's going to happen. Doing a week like this, how long will you be away? A week? A week, days? Right. Doing a week like this, so you suddenly turn up in a place you've never been to before, and within a very short space of time, you've actually got to make something of the music that you, you know well, but in a building that you don't know well at all. So when you warm up, actually, the thing to do is not just warm your voice up, but it is to listen to the building. Listen, listen, listen to the building. And that means that when you do sing a piece of music, you're just about to sing me a piece of music now, you've got half a chance of making a really good job of this. But if you haven't got the building sorted out before you sing, then you're going to be in trouble. Okay.